I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. The miraculous catch of fish, and catching men like fish. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love our videos, if you love us passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Do you hear a bell, buddy? Nice catch. Get the app, Apple, Google, even Amazon, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us at rolling. And we need your gifts in these dark times. All right. The Miraculous Catch of Fish was this Sunday's la uh, gospel lesson. And it is so important to understand what it's all about. It's good to be a fish. So let's, let's hit the text. Uh, it's Luke 5. And Jesus has been, Jesus has a large crowd following him. Uh, he's doing, done great, some, some great miracles. And he finds himself, um, them, the crowd pressing to hear the word of God. And so he's standing by the lake of Gennesaret and uh, they, and they, they, they press him and they push him. And the crowd is so great uh, that they, let me show you the text. They, there are two boats by the lake. Fishermen had gone out and they were washing their legs. Um, and he's pressed and he's pushed into one of the boats. This is a God who allows us to push him. Ooh, he missed that one. This is a God that allows us to push him. And so he's pushed into one of the boats, which is Simon's boat. And not only does he get in the boat, but he sits down and begins to teach the crowds, the gospel, the forgiveness of sins. Um, but he tells, he says, go out a little bit. And then he teaches them. But after he teaches them, he tells Simon Peter to throw his net out, go a little deeper and throw your net out for a catch. That's verse four. See it right there in rad. Master. Epistata. This is a different word for master than Lord, but um, this is like master. Master, um, we we toiled the whole night and we, 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 we took nothing in. Uh, this is important. But at your remata, at your word, I'll cast my net. And I want you, like, so often this is preached poorly um, and about faith. And we're going to get to that tomorrow. Uh, but... Here, he throws the he throws the um, the throws the net out, and fish so many fish so many that they call their the the other fishermen over, um, and they fill both boats to the point in which the nets are breaking, and they're going to sink the boats. And Peter sees it the whole thing, and he says, verse eight. Seeing the thing, Peter fell down at Jesus' knees saying, get away from me, for I'm a sinful man, Kyrie. The master talk is gone. And now he calls him Lord. Lord, that's Yahweh, God of the Old Testament. The guy in the boat with him is none other than the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Lord God himself. That's who's in the boat with him. There's more. For he was astonished, and all who were with him also, at the catch of fish that had been taken. And so James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partner Zebedee, 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 that's all folks, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, don't fear. From now on, you will catch men. You'll be catching men like you are catching fish. This is about faith. Uh, but more than that, this is about the delivery of faith. And here's what I mean by that. Um, this is not, not about you being a fisherman. This is not about you catching fish or you catching men like fish. 
That might happen, but that's not what this is about. This is about Jesus is God for you. And he's such a good God that he fills the boat up with fish more than they could possibly figure out. Also, um, this is about Peter and the disciples being called to, to preach, I'm sorry, to catch men like fish in the waters of baptism. So it's good to be a fish that's caught. And we are all first fish that are caught. Before we are called to do anything else, before we make this about, oh, you need to catch men like fish too. Before that, it has to be about, it needs to be about, because that's what the text says. It's about Jesus catching them. Jesus being God. And Jesus sending his men to catch you and me. So it's good to be a fish. Saint uh, Tertullian, not a saint, but a, a second century preacher says, we are all like little fishes swimming. That was not a tragic throw. Swimming in the waters of our baptism. So it's good to be a fish. You don't have to be a fisherman. Everybody doesn't have to be a fisherman. And if everybody's a fisherman, there would be no fish. Hey buddy, you want this? Oh, he missed it. Is that a, is that a, is that, is that one? It's not a tragic flow, throw when it goes off his face. If everybody's a fish, there are no fishermen. There are fish in the church and there are fishermen. Uh, those who preach and those who hear. Sheep who hear the shepherd's voice. So let this text be about, hey boy, ready? Ready? Oh, I overthrew. That was a tragic throw. Let this text be about, first and foremost, the good gift of being a fish who have been caught by the Lord who is so gracious as to save you. I'm Pastor George Borkhart and Thor, and this has been another Higher Things video short.